Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to, welcome back to the hashtag Dream Build Off uh, live stream here on Roland Sands Instagram channel. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Roland Sands. This is me. I'm not as tall as most people think I am, but I love motorcycles. <laughs> um, we are going to go over today um, the Dream Build Off, which is rapidly coming to a close. We're about five months into the Build Off. And we've got one more month to go, so we've given builders, um, been get, we've given builders six months to finish their to finish their build off bikes in three different categories. We are giving away three brand new motorcycles. We're giving away a BMW R18 in the 1200cc and up category. We are giving away an Indian Scout Bobber in the 750cc to 1200cc category, and we are giving away a Royal Enfield Meteor for 750cc and below. So super excited to give these bikes away. For me, this is like just a good opportunity to give back to people who are building bikes. Um, this project originally started, um, if, you, if you haven't been following it, uh, this project originally started when we had our, our, our COVID issues a um, couple, two years ago now. Is it 2020? It's hard to even count how many years it's been since this craziness started. But we wanted to give people an excuse to get into their garage rather than just sit around and watch TV and dig some of those old projects out from underneath the sheets and put them back up on a lift and get to building. So we had quite a few builders enter into the first competition that we did and we gave away a bunch of cool prizes and we gave away a little bit of money, had some great sponsors come on board to participate. This year we figured this year and well 20 the the contest started in 2021 in november so now it's extended into april of the end of april in 2022 um, and we wanted to give people a little bit more time to build the bikes and also we wanted to give away some bigger prizes so giving away these three brand new bikes for us is like i think it's we, we've given away bikes before but we've never given away three bikes so um that's really an exciting deal for us to be able to do that. And we're very thankful to BMW Motorcycles, to India Motorcycles, and to Royal Enfield for helping us put this project together and participating and rewarding you guys, the builders, the hashtag Dream Build Off Builders. Um, if you haven't perused the hashtags, I'm sure if you're building bikes, you have, and you've probably seen on our Instagram channel, um, on our Instagram page and our YouTube, you've seen the hashtag. Um, do yourself a favor, check out the builds. There are so many talented people building bikes, men, women, all types, building really cool stuff. Um, and we're like just excited to see, A, if a lot of these guys are gonna finish the bikes. Cause if you go through the hashtags right now, and we don't know, I mean, you might've been grinding and just like, hey, I'm putting my head down. I'm not gonna pay a whole bunch of attention to doing social media right now. And maybe you are just gonna have a finished bike by the end. Um, some of the guys have finished their builds and they are on their way to, you know, like having an official entry because your official entry in this contest is your running bike. So if you have put, it doesn't matter how much effort, energy and time you put into it or how beautiful and cool your half finished bike is. If it isn't finished, unfortunately, we will not be able to pick it and you will not be eligible to win a, a, a brand new bike. Um, so hopefully you get your bike running and you know, you've timed it right. You've had six months to get this project dialed and we're going to start perusing some of the bikes that we like um, and some guys that are on their way to being fully entered into the program. And um, maybe we're going to give away some bikes in April, end of April. Yeah. Um, we've also been building along with you guys, our BMW R18 in the middle of uh, going racing. So that's always exciting when you're doing two projects at once. And for us, we usually have three, four, five different projects going on at the shop. This year, we just happen to also be racing bikes and uh, hitting Daytona as well as going to Road Atlanta in the middle of this month. So we're in a panic to get our bike finished as well. It isn't even at paint yet. If you want to check out our videos on the builds uh, for our BMW, you can check out our YouTube channel. We posted two videos on our BMW R18 build uh, for Geico, and we are gonna post another video here pretty quick. It's got some fabrication and kind of the, the final pieces before the bike goes to paint. We are pushing to get our bike to paint this week. So hopefully you have done the same or you've already done it. I'm sure most of you guys are probably well ahead of us. Uh, we're procrastinators, <laughs> but 
we try and get it done and we're going to get it done no matter what our bike will be running and finished at the end of april mm. so let's go ahead and um let's go ahead and move over to the website and check out some of your guys's bike builds So I am on the hashtag DreamBuildOff page. This is www.dreambuildoff.com, and this is where we are listing all of our Dream Build Offs, Dream Build Off bikes. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look through some of this stuff. Right. You know, the bike I keep going back to, just because I'm a freak for this type of stuff, is this turbo bike by Denver. He's got a 1200 GSXR Bandit. He's got a Bandit going here, a Suzuki Bandit. And this thing is wild. Just, it looks like there's no way that this bike's going to get finished because there's a lot of parts on the table. Um, but you never know. He's got a cool mock-up here. Um, he's got tail section and tank. Let's see here. Yeah, I kind of dig that tail. That thing's cool. This is a punk rock bike. It's a GS1000R tail. And you can see this turbo setup is pretty rude. Not a lot of clearance in between that front tire and that turbo, but that's what makes these builds I think always special and cool. Minimal clearances, tight clearances. There's no chat speed. And you can see how many parts it takes to try and jam a turbo into a four cylinder bike. And he's done a lot of this stuff with CAD. So that is a cool way to go about getting something like this done and sometimes the best and easiest and quickest way. Um, oh, this is my boy from Ample Creative right here. You know, the thing I like about these build-offs is you get a lot of different variety of bikes. And this project here, look at this old school bad boy Evo Chop. That thing's sick. Those are performance machine aero wheels with old PM two pot calipers. That's a lot of history right there in this bike. A little slice of the nineties. <clears throat> yeah, I like that fork too. A lot of old school parts. The nineties are coming back apparently. That's what I've heard. What we else we got here? This thing is crazy from Bulletproof Welder. Bulletproof Welder, I think. Did he win a helmet? Yeah, he won a he won one of our Bell helmet giveaways. Lots of gold. A ton of gold going down. Some really cool photos too. And he is building, it's like a Dyna. Man, the detail that's going into this bike is really next level. Look at the paint job. Woo! It's got a little aquatic theme going. We've got some sharks. Poseidon. It says Poseidon is digging into clamshell bags. Bulletproof welder is going above and beyond on this thing for sure. You know, this is one I've been following from the beginning, this Serco build, and it's a little Indian board track racer. It looks like it's a long ways from being finished, but I'd love to see this thing running. I'd love to see this thing finished. Good luck, and I hope you can make some progress on this bike. Yeah, this thing's bitching. A 
apparently we're in an office. Hmm. Yeah, 28 Indian 101. I mean, how can you not like a board track racer? But that thing is a long ways from being finished. Maybe 2023. Maybe the 2023 build off. We'll see. So let's move to the next category. We've got our 750cc to 11.99, and these are these bikes are eligible to win the Indian um, the Indian Scout Bobber. We've got some guys who've come back from other comps. Mitch Whitcamp is building his BMW here. This thing is crazy. Um, let's see some. He's got a crazy LED light package on this thing. Don't normally like LED lights, but I think he's done some. Got some great details on this thing. There you go. Look at that. Lights. Who just thunk it? LED lights. You guys probably know Maxwell Hazan. Max builds a lot of crazy bikes. Um, and I think what he's entered in this one, this isn't it, I don't believe. Let's see. I think Max is building this 450. Oh no, this is. Sorry, I'm getting confused a little bit. I'm working on this thing. Is this it? I think Max was building this 450 for this thing. We'll see. Max is he's a dark horse, that's for sure. Oh, what else we got here? Look at this little bobber. Steel City Blacksmith. How can you hate on a sports or chopper? That thing's bitching. Or it's done, have with it, sorry. I really like this bike by Steel City Blacksmithing. Sits really nice. Um, a lot of a lot of detail work. You can tell that he's paid attention to like really everything. The frame is crazy. All twisted steel tube, twisted and knotted steel tube. Um, it's got this crazy twisted T-bar setup, turn forks, lots of detail work by Steel City Blacksmithing on this bike. Uh, yeah, in the running, get this thing running. We want to see it. We want to see it ripping down the highway. And let's see what we got here. What else? Got a little ways to go on this project by D Hazard Eight. Whoa, you got a long ways to go. We got some some wheels on it though. Let's see here. We got Evo soft tail build. You know, it's pretty hard to tell. I mean, for us, when we're building bikes, a lot of times people will come in and we're like, yeah, we'll have this thing finished in a week. And the bike is all over the shop. <laughs> there are pieces everywhere. There might be wheels on it. There may not be wheels on it. But it certainly doesn't look anything like a motorcycle. And I think there's probably quite a few people, if you're rushing to get these things built in the last minute, that's probably the stage you're in is, uh, you know, you got parts all over the place. You got parts out to finish. Maybe your bike is still at paint. Ours hasn't even gone to paint yet. There's a lot of work to be done. Absolutely, 100%. Um, so, you know, good luck to any of you guys who are just getting your bikes bolted together. Let's go ahead and check out 750cc and under. And there are a lot of bikes in this category. Hard to pick which ones. Um, to even look at, man, there's so much cool stuff in here. Look at this thing. Sometimes when you don't have room for stuff, you just need to cut a hole in your gas tank. Or maybe just cut your gas tank completely in half. That's the first time I've ever seen anyone do that. Bucci Cycles is, uh, he's cutting stuff up. And it looks like this thing's finished for the most part. Lowering the headlight and gauges, and last, getting those last minute details dialed in. Um, let's see this thing running. Dub style. Let's 
see here. This is a cool little flat tracker. Yeah. That is the smallest little flat track tail section I think I have ever seen. I really like that a lot. So parts have begun to show up. So dub style designs, he's waiting for parts, I think, as all of us are. Um, you know, he said he's been waiting on parts, but parts have begun to show up, so he's officially entering. He said if he can get the frame and body work done. This was eight weeks ago, so potentially he's moving forward on this thing, and we'll see how it comes together. All right, what else we got here? If you know me, you know that I'm a fan of two strokes. <laughs> and I think he was building a two stroke. Yeah, this is definitely a two stroke. And Anton is building, what is this, this little, it's a Honda? That's a Yamaha. That thing's trick. It almost looks like a little Moto, a Moto 3 bike. YZ250 Road Racer, and it looks like he does have like a Moto, maybe a Moto 3 wheel setup on this thing. Um, yeah, this thing's bitching. Lots of cool details. He's thrown a lot of cool details into this project. Um, I just got a render of it. Let's see here. We got sketches, man, there is a lot of, you can see he's really done a good job of documenting this build from its inception. You know, this is actually kind of how we start. If we, if we actually have the models for parts, this is how we like to start our builds is chuck the motor in the middle, put the size of wheels you want and then go from there. Um, but you can see this is a really, um, a bike that's been designed from from its inception. Rapid prototypes, billet parts, three fully 3D modeled. Respect to this level of build, a lot of work has gone into this bike. Yeah, look at this frame fixture too. So Anton has, <clears throat> Anton's gone above and beyond on this project without a doubt. He's using the stock YZ250 lower frame and built a trellis tube chassis above it. So stoked to see Anton get this thing running. Not that much time left. And it looks like he's still got quite a ways to go, but a very unique design just all over, you know, from the bodywork, the chassis, the frame, um, the swing arm, you know, the concept of putting a, t a YZ250 essentially in a Moto3 chassis with high bars. I mean, it's a lot of dreaming going down for this bike and he looks like he's truly building his dream bike. Congratulations, Anton. Can't wait to see you finish this thing up. see I'm just kind of picking random a little bit here and just seeing what's going on BG garage and he is building a it's like a little tracker a little six Yama Yamakita 650 a little short track bike by BG garage Let's see here, Will. Will Collender. This thing's this thing's a serious a serious build as well. Um, and we've been we've been following this thing from the beginning. Will has put an exceptional amount of effort into the build, but also the photography and how he has showed this bike off and the build off online is exceptional as well. Um, yeah. It's a ton of wild parts for sure. I mean, it looks like Will has built just about every single part of this bike, maybe outside of the motor. 
All done by hand, no digital readouts or electronics harmed apart from the caliper. Oh yeah, so Will built one of our winners from last year, which was this little little two-stroke mini COVID build. And he has decided to go all out for this year's build. Congratulations, Will. Let's see this thing running and ripping. We want to hear some noise come out of this piece for sure. And maybe he's a little bit further on than he is in this picture. This was two days ago. It's measuring port timing with two strokes. It's always a little bit of extra effort to get these motors built, but they don't have valves, so that's a bonus. And this is an RD350. Sometimes a little bit tough to get parts for these things, but they are screamers. And let's see here. Let's go over to Aaron Pearson, Super Arthur. And he built, a, oh yeah, this thing's, this is a bitchin' little two-stroke as well. A Banshee motor. So this thing is going to scream a Banshee flat tracker. Respect for this thing. Long live two strokes without a doubt. He's gone through and built these pipes, two stroke pipes. Little bit of bitch to build. Well, these things are bitching. So you want to move now to the engine. So he's taking the stock, looks like he took the stock Banshee pipes and modified it for his bike. So taking a motor out of a four-wheeler and chuck it into a two-wheeler, respect, that's always a difficult project when you're trying to jam a new motor into another chassis. And that thing's coming out really nice. Um, <clears throat> crossover Customs. Actually, this was a build that started, I don't know if he started it before the COVID build off, but he's been building this thing for a while. And it looks like it is getting close to being finished. Looks like he's got the body all mocked up here. It's definitely getting closer. And moving to a painted chassis. Looks like he's got his new, new tires on the bike. This bike is getting close. And <laughs> KX500 build. I'm a big fan of two strokes, obviously, so. Um, you know, excited to see a lot of these builds come together, but more excited to hear your bike run and uh, see how the thing works. What do we got here? Some new carburetors. Smart carb on a KX500. There you go. Who wants to jet a carburetor? I don't. Done plenty of that back in the day. All right, so that's a, a quick look at some of our build off competitors in all of the categories. Um, and it's been, uh, it's been really fun watching these bikes come together. So much energy and effort has gone into so many of these projects that it's, um, yeah, it's just, it's just cool to see people participating in the build off. And, um, you know, the fact that we get to give one of these guys in each of the categories, one of these guys or girls in the cata each of these categories, a bike to us is such a cool thing to be able to do. Um, we've also given away a host of other stuff during the project to both builders and to um, to builders and to people who are just been watching the build off and following our Instagram channel. Um, we've given away Dunlop tires. We've given away Motul oil. We've given away um, some Makita drills and drivers. Um, we're doing a JMP giveaway coming up here pretty quick and an SNS giveaway, and we've done a Bell Helmets giveaway. Have we given away a saddleman seat yet? We might give away a saddleman seat too. Um, we're going to give away some more prizes to you guys as well, so keep watching the build off, keep paying attention to what's happening. Um, over the next month, we are going to start aligning our favorite builds and posting them. It ain't going to mean anything until you actually get your build running. So even if we like it, even if we love it, even if we dig the way it looks, make sure your bike runs, please. Um, and 
we are going to pick a bike. We're going to pick a couple bikes. I've got some friends who are coming along to judge the bikes for us as well. We got Ola Stengard from BMW. Um, we have Roland Stock. I just said Ola, Ola Stengard from BMW. I met Ola Stengard from Indian Motorcycles. We have Roland Stocker from BMW Motorcycles. We have Adrian from Royal Enfield. We have a couple of my friends, Andy Bell, who's my partner here at the shop. Um, from Nitro Circus, and we have Wee Man, um, who's going to be helping us judge the smaller CC bikes um, from Jackass. And uh, yeah, over the next month, we're going to start picking bikes. We're going to see which ones run, actually are running, and we're going to start picking what we uh, think are going to be eligible to win. So please post pictures of your bike running video. Please post videos of your bike running. Um, post, post pictures of your finished bike. Hashtag Dream Build Off. Uh, hashtag Dream Build Off at Geico. And uh, let us know you guys are finished. Um, we really want to see what you guys have done and see the finished bikes running. So um, that's about it for now. Thank you to all of our fantastic sponsors for helping us with the hashtag Dream Build Off by Geico. Um, until the next time, get to building. Post some videos of your bike running so we know that you've got your project finished and uh, we're going to go from there. Over and out. Thanks for hanging out for a little bit with me and we'll see you guys again soon.